How can I help? Be safe! We're heading back to Vanaheim. We still have unfinished business there. We've still got to find that mysterious orb for Lunda. Also what? You asked us to explore the river delta with you. Perhaps it's time we did so. I'm with you. Despite his actions in Midgard, Atreus does still care for you. I know. I raised a son, too. It may be hard to believe, but he was quite similar to Atreus at this age. He adored his father. Always one frustrated that no matter what he did, he never could seem to get his approval. He confided in me a lot. Sought the comfort his father withheld. I wonder if your son could benefit from that, too. He has befriended the other dwarf. The Blue One's brother. Oh. Well, if Sindri has that covered, I suppose there's no need for me in his life anymore, is there? That is not what I meant. That was sarcasm. Astrid's garden. The wilds reclaimed it. It was beautiful once. Waterfalls. We're close. There should be a gate up ahead. That's quite a gate. Way through. The Pilgrim Gate. I can open it. We just need to find the right vantage point.
Freya, there's something I've always wanted to ask. What was it Hrimthur whispered to you? Who? Hrimthur, the son of Thormur, the stonemason, who disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Oh, yes. One of the many occasions Odin saw fit to involve me in a wager without my consent. I wish I could say that was the worst of his husbandly habits. What wager? I've told this story, brother. And now she may tell her own. There isn't that much to tell. I knew nothing of it at first, surely because Odin didn't expect to lose the bet. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! And if he was late, he'd be owed nothing. But if he succeeded, he was promised an audience with the Queen. Or so I learned one day when Odin burst into our bedchambers, raging and half-drunk before noon, telling me to get dressed and go see what the mason wants. So, off I went, not knowing what had truly been promised or expected. Dagger stashed in my robe for emergency. And this mason, this giant in disguise... His name was Hrimthur! He just smiled to see me, and as you said, he whispered in my ear. He said the Aesir had killed his father, and he needed to know that one day they'd burn for it. I pointed out I was Aesir now too, technically. He gave me a look, as if he somehow knew better and continued. He said he'd built in a structural flaw behind the Asgard Realm Tower. I knew it! How do we make use of it? We don't. He said Surtur would know what to do. And if Surtur's approaching Asgard's wall... Then it is already Ragnarok. Ah, blast it! I hoped it might have given us another way. Find that orb yet? And how is it you two know each other? No, I can't be divulger in guild business. You gotta respect the secret dude of it all. I'm sorry? Let's just say Brock and I have long enjoyed certain common interests. That's right. Like getting us into trouble. And getting you back out of it again. What? <laughs> That's only mostly true. Okay, so does that answer your question? Close enough, I suppose. <laughs> 